Okay, so in this song we have lots of synthesizers and other stuff going on. And it sounds like this. And what we want to do now is kind of remix it and change the arrangement of it. So what we do now is take all of these synthesizers and sweep them. And what we also do is say chain the sweeper to the drums. So each time a kick or snare hit, the sweeper is basically sweeping and changing the frequencies. And it really sounds cool like this. It's creating all kinds of wobbles. And we can play with the resonance and tweak the attack and release times to make it sound different. What we have here now is a very fat sounding drum track and a huge sounding bass track. And together they sound like this. As you can hear, there is too much low end going on. And the solution to this usually would be to sidechain compress the bass, which would sound like this. Yeah, it sounds cool, but it's too EDM. And also the rest of the high frequencies are also pumping with a low end. And we don't want that. We want a cleaner sounding bass. So now with the sweeper, what we do, we say chain the sweeper to the kick and snare. And now the bass stays completely clean and bright while the rest of the low frequencies, they pump. And it sounds transparent. In this track we have vocals that have been recorded too noisy and this is how they sound. A livid shadow in the usual solution to this would be a gate. The problem with the gate though is that it cuts the noise abruptly and it keeps it completely open while the vocals are singing. So this is how it would sound with a gate. A livid shadow in all You can really hear the noise going up and down. So what I usually do instead, I open up the sweeper to filter out the frequencies of the noise. I make it sweep only when the vocals are singing to make it sound super transparent. And this is how it sounds. A livid shadow in all layers. 